Hi there, Marco Tempest here with a sneak preview of a new magic trick, a high-tech card trick I've been working on. I'm going to be wearing this contraption which I rigged up to give you a real-time view into a techno magician's mind when he's performing something as simple as a card trick. This is how it goes. A spectator will select a random card, just like this. The card then gets marked or signed on the front of it so we can recognize it when we see it again. The card then gets placed back into the deck just like this and I give the cards a quick shuffle okay and a quick cut. Now for those of you who don't play cards a deck of cards is made up of four different suits hearts System ready acquiring clubs, diamonds, and spades. Watching magic is an active pursuit of what is false and what is true. Performing magic is always about multiple dimensions, layers of reality combining. Each of the four suits represents one of the four seasons. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. My favorite season is winter. Mine too, like magic. Winter involves visual wonder, drastic change, and a delicate balance between its physical states. In each of the four suits, there are 13 cards. Each card representing a phase in the 13 lunar cycles. Over here is low tide. And over here is high tide. And here is the moon. There are two colors. Red and black representing the constant change from day to night. Marco, I did not know you could do that. In total, there are 52 cards in a deck of cards, in line with the 52 weeks of the year. If all the cards are added, the result is 365. The number of days between each of our birthdays. As a matter of fact, it was on my sixth birthday that I received my first deck of cards. And ever since then, I've traveled the world performing magic for boys and girls, men and women, husbands and wives, and kings and queens. And sometimes the kings and queens serve us. Now these guys can be real hecklers. Hey, wake up! Whoa. Are you ready? Ready! Okay, let me see what you got. But today, I'm performing for a different kind of audience. Today, I am performing for you. Sign card detected. Now people sometimes ask me, how do you become a magician? It's not just a 9 to 5 job. Of course it's not. You've got to practice 24-7. I don't literally mean 24 hours, 7 days a week. 24-7 is a little bit of an exaggeration, but it does take practice. Although some people will tell you that magic is the work of some evil, supernatural force. To this, I say no no. 
Okay, in Swiss German it's 9-9. It's really nothing that intense. I have to warn you though, if you ever meet a guy who's good with cards like this, don't play him for money. Because even if you receive a decent hand, you'll be prepared. And that leaves us with the most important card of all. And unlike anything else that you've just seen that lives in the virtual world, or possibly not, this is without a question the real thing. Sign card detected. Thanks for watching, I'll see you around.